Hey there, and welcome back to XCOM. So, um, I have filled out some of your uh, some of your requests. If you can see your name on there, then well done. Uh, I did disqualify one because it's a cheat code. Uh, that would be Sid Meier. Uh, I won't be having any uh, quote-unquote heroes of XCOM. Uh, and there are still a few who are unnamed, like uh, the sniper chick here. She doesn't have a name. Well, she does, but she doesn't. And um, there's another chick here. Uh, there was one person who asked for uh, Army Girl, so uh, Army Girl is up here as the assault. That's the only only female uh, operative we have so far who has a customised name. But uh, all the rest of these guys I've filled out. You might not have the country you like, but I don't have the uh, the option to just pick up a whole bunch of uh, of different country guys right now. Um, maybe later on I'll be able to do that. And I've also run out of names to do uh, without going into uh, who the women are, so uh, or rather putting women as men's names because it seems that like most of the names I've been given are men's names. So I'll just wait until I've gotten more uh, more soldiers for that, and I will get more soldiers. So don't worry about that. So um, and once I do, even if they don't, don't, don't uh, even if the soldiers don't die, I'll mix them up a bit to get them all a little bit of experience. So everyone will get to see their character in action and uh, potentially die. So don't worry about that. Um, I will also try not to get people blown up by. Uh, by misthrown hand grenades or exploding cars, although I can't promise anything. So um, I'll, I'll give it my best. Right, so we have got a mission to do. Uh, the alien abductions. Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Are we going to Tokyo? I think. Uh, scientist. Yeah, I think we we're going to Tokyo. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So our squad is Wheeler, Creeper, Girl, and O'Brien. Okay. Uh, yeah, that looks alright to me. And I've also changed uh, this guy's um, armor because he's a heavy, and I really hate that heavy armor. So he's got the um, the sort of overlay thing, and that's what he's going to have. And I'm half tempted to give someone a med kit just in case. Um, I think I'm going to give O'Brien a med kit. Uh, load out. Instead of a frag grenade, you can have a med kit because it is helpful to have a med kit around, even if you don't have a medic, because when you're a low level medic you can just you're still as effective with a med kit as any other person is so i may as well have uh, o'brien have a med kit right here the fuck is that oh right okay never mind uh right okay so let's launch the mission away we go all the way over to japan and unfortunately it means the other two places are going to get a bit upset by this but uh but we just gonna have to deal with that you'll be heading into japan for the next mission Okay, so site's clear of hostiles, so just kill everything. Yeah, I'm going to ignore that guy for a while, because he just says the same thing over and over. Okay, oh, it's raining. Okay. This is an interesting map. Is that a fire? There's a giant fire down there. That's um, a little bit disconcerting, but alright. Basically, it's just a straight down the middle, though. Okay, so I'm going to deploy the heavy right here. He's in full cover, which is great. I uh, can't see anyone now, though, so that's fine. Uh, let's see. Girl, you've got a shotgun, so really you want to be a lot further forward. I'm going to have her dash up here. Even though she can't shoot after that, she's going to, still going to be up there. Um, Wheeler and O'Brien are both uh, unexperienced, so... I want to keep them fairly close. Um, I'm going to have her go in with the heavy right there. And I'm going to have uh, Wheeler. He's going to sprint up here and stay on the flank behind this SUV. And everyone else can now go into Overwatch. And we'll see what the aliens are going to do. See if they present themselves or not. No, I didn't think they would. Right, okay, so... Girl, I want you moving up here. Alright, still can't see anything. Uh, this guy's going to dash up on this side. Still can't see anything. Okay, uh, I'm going to have the heavy. The heavy's going to move here. And we'll have O'Brien move up into the middle. Okay, and everyone back onto Overwatch, or everyone that can. Okay, have you seen any aliens yet? You can hear them. 
and they are pretty much where I thought they were going to be because I think they're just here because there's that thing right there, there's a pod right there so I'd be very surprised if they aren't very nearby there I'm going to move the heavy up to here and he's got a good overwatch position uh, let's put him on overwatch immediately and then we'll have I'm going to have O'Brien move up to here and go on overwatch um, now I'm going to have girl um, can't really move her any further up without putting her into danger I'm going to put this guy up here there we go right so now we can see them if any of them move forward the heavy will get a shot no okay so they're not coming far enough forward for heavy to get a shot and she's got a shotgun so that's going to be not very useful to be honest in this kind of situation um, let's see I think I want to have her come over this side yeah I have her come and flank because she's a, a close range uh, specialist so if he shoots from there he's going to be got to be super accurate now he's going to mind control that one okay that's fine when they move forward the heavy should get a shot there we go probably miss but yeah completely missed now I could easily take out all three of those right now with that heavy could easily just destroy the whole thing with a with a rocket and if he goes into overwatch as well oh if you hit from there I'll be annoyed yeah that was lame <laughs> the fuck can you hit from that far away alright so this guy is currently being flanked I could just shoot him 67% chance um, or I could uh, get a rocket out and just destroy all three of those which is not exactly what I want to do I mean I could just do that and destroy all of them um, which is an option because that guy is on overwatch and I don't really want to get anyone killed she can see someone and of course they are better shots than me and as soon as this guy moves he's gonna get shot by that guy right there uh, I could have her move first I suppose she can run and gun so I could get her to go to there and shoot but if she misses then she's in a world of shit fuck it I'm gonna try it because worst comes to worst she'll get shot by that guy who's on overwatch right now right, he missed that's good so she's using running guns so she better run all the way up to the end of uh, oh my god no <laughs> well that could have gone better oh good they're backing off well she's still out in the open so this is bad right 70% chance to get him please kill him excellent okay so those two are dead that's good now I need to get Wheeler in so that he can provide covering fire um, I'm going to take out that guy behind the yeah this one on please kill him nice very nice Wheeler okay and now we want to get the heavy can the heavy get this guy that he's flanking no completely missed okay uh, O'Brien you can't run and gun you can move to here and fire though so let's have her move here and please no. well hit him but didn't finish him off so we'll see what's gonna happen now she's out in the open right there and that could be very very bad we'll see if those other two come down but I'm not sure what he's gonna do he's moving forward for some reason I'm not quite sure why he's doing that he's on overwatch that's fine though these are the ones that are worrying me okay one's mind controlled which means only one of them's gonna be able to shoot ouch she's panicked so what's she gonna do if she ah oh, good okay that's the best place you could possibly have run to that's absolutely fine I'm happy with that so um that other guy's all the way up there all right if I if I dash wheeler to here he can't fire I could dash him to there as well and he still couldn't fire um, 
think what I want to do is I want to take O'Brien and go here. Oh, I forgot that guy was on Overwatch. Hopefully he misses. Yeah, he missed. Good. Right. I should have just shot him from the side with the uh, with the heavy, but that's fine. Right, so 64%. Come on, there we go. Nice work, Wheeler. Okay, and the reason I did that is because I want to save the heavy. Uh, I want to get him to dash up here. Wait, well, I doesn't need saving, per se. I just want to get him to dash forward because he's going to be uh, very useful up here, I think. Now then, Wheeler. Um, I read... Cause the alien is it's like here. I think he's there, like right there, where that little shield is popping up. Um, if I put him there, he'll be under cover. Um, he hasn't actually taken any damage so far. So actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna rush him up here. Oh, he has taken some damage. Damn. Okay. All right, but at least now I can see where they are. Hopefully, he will mind control that guy again. Yeah, good. That means we're only facing one poten uh, one potential gun. And he's probably going to shoot at the guy I've just moved up. Yeah, he's going to try and flank and try and shoot at that guy. But he's an under full cover, so he might dodge it. Yeah, good, he dodged it. That's good. So I need to... Is she still panicked? Can I can I use this chick? Ah, good, I can use her, but she, her fucking running gun is on cooldown still. That sucks. I wanted to use that right there, but apparently I can't. Let's move the heavy up here into full cover. And then can we... No, we can't shoot the guy at the back. Um... Well, alright, let's... Fucking nice. Obliterated. That was some nice shooting, but he needs to reload now. Uh, let's move... No, she, let's, let's leave her where she is, I think. No, actually, no, she does need to move up. Let's move her to here. And then she can run and gun next turn to get right up in his face. Um, no, it's not reload. Let's have her on Overwatch. And Wheeler, you can move as well, so move here. And then he's got a shot at this guy. 55%, I'll take it. Hit him, but didn't kill him. I'll take it, though, it's still good. And O'Brien here, she can't really do anything. Um, I would like to go up here and heal this one, because she's got the med kit. But uh, Alright, dash to here. She can't do anything else this turn. Let's see what he's going to do. He's probably going to run backwards and hide somewhere. Or shoot at that guy who just hit him. And miss. That's fine. He needs to move because that thing's going to blow. So let's do that before I forget. In fact, he can just run right up here and shoot him in the face. Let's actually, let's actually pistol him in the face because, yeah, because we can. Execution style. There we go. Nice. So that team worked pretty well. Uh, we lost no one, we killed six aliens, and uh, Tokyo Japan is now happy, which is good. Uh, unfortunately, it means that I think the United Kingdom, was it? I think it was the United Kingdom, and um, I could be wrong about that. And um, was it Argentina? I don't know, I don't remember. Okay, so we've got a support, finally. So Wheeler is a medic, and uh, O'Brien is also a medic. Okay, so we've got two medics. Uh, well, that's fine. New facility. You can build a workshop. I do want a workshop. So, um, adds five engineers to our staff. I'm not overly bothered about that, to be honest. Right, so Europe and South America have had their panic increase. I can now see the situation room, which is good. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. Yes, we should. Um, how many satellites do I have? I think I have one spare satellite. And where does it say how many I can... How many I can launch? Yes, alright, I know what it does. Okay, so I can have two satellites right now. And I only have one available. Um, and of course when I put up satellites, I have to have a... Um, I have to have a satellite with... Uh, a a ship as well. Uh, be quiet. So either Argentina or France could use a satellite. I'm going to hold on to the satellite for now um, because I'm going to need more of them. Let's go to engineering. Yes, 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 I know. Um, I want another satellite uplink, but I don't have enough engineers for it. Okay. I need more engineers. How many do I have? 
doesn't actually say how many I have. It should say in here though. I have nine engineers. So when I get one more engineer, I'll be able to get um, I'll be able to build that facility. There's no research I can do right now because we're already doing it. Uh, let's level up these guys. So the support character. Just like it sounds. They get smoke grenades. Well, we knew that because we've already done it. Customize. She needs to be uh, armor tint. She was five, I think. Yeah, five. Armor tint five. And where's the other one? Support down here. Wheeler. I seem to recall him doing really well in the last mission, actually. Yeah, he got two kills. That's really nice. Okay. So he gets tint of five. And yeah, so I, did I give her a med kit? I think I did. Yeah. And I'm actually going to buy another med kit just because I have two medics. And there's no reason to have a medic who doesn't have a med, a med kit. Now, I know I keep calling them medics and they're actually technically supports, but that's the only thing I use them for is being medics. That's their best use because there's no one else who can heal as effectively as a support character. So just, you know, it's a medic. All right. Um, I also want to hire more soldiers mainly because I don't have enough to you to do all the names so I'm gonna do I'm gonna put uh, gonna hire 20 more soldiers and that will be more than enough for anything that we want uh, maybe I should have made some more um, uh, satellites but whatever okay so two days till the access lift is done the access lift is done assign new construction we have 40 left to do I want to excavate that steam room um, and I'm going to activate this room as well and that's all my money gone so I can't build anything else right now not until I either make some more money or what I can do in fact is uh, what's this? I've forgotten what that is um, what I can do is go to the situation room and go to the grey market and I can sell these things here please shut up that's not what I want Okay, yeah, so I can sell sectoid corpses and I can sell weapon fragments right now. There'll be a whole shitload of stuff that I can sell later on, but I don't have any of it yet. Um, I haven't researched this stuff, though, so it's not, not a good idea to, to sell anything you haven't researched or anything you don't know what it does already. So I can't actually sell anything right now, but later on I'll be able to and get more money that way. So let's scan. We've got two more days until... There we go. The new soldiers have arrived. So I'm going to go see what we've got. And... Uh, and see if we can name it. Oh, oh no, that's a girl. Oh, a whole bunch of Britons. Good. I like Brits because I won't be one of them. Uh, Eduardo Gonzalez. That's a cool name. Shane Payne. Oh, that's just badass. All right. Okay. So um, I'm gonna go through and name some more of these guys because there's more of your comments that I haven't uh, I haven't fulfilled yet because I didn't have enough people. But now we should have enough people to fill all the all the. Uh, all the people that we want so I'm gonna go through and do that and I'll be back once I've done it all right I think I've got everyone and there was one in particular that um, that really stood out to me there he is Albert Painstein I thought that was a great name so uh, he's gonna be nicknamed professor when he gets the, the thing done but uh, yeah that's a great great name and this one up here uh, is not a suggestion but um, her name is clearly it's clearly deja vu which I think is great. If she levels up and gets a nickname, I'm to uh, totally going to call her Double Take. So, um, we have a bunch of guys injured as well, but we have a whole shitload that we can use, and most of them have custom names. There are a few in here which don't, like Richard Hill here is just default. Um, all the women except for one are defaults. Uh, we've got a couple of unnamed guys down here. So, um, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to give the first video a couple more days to get more names on because I'm actually recording this the day after I release that one so I'm going to give people a, a bit of a chance before I start opening up more names on on later episodes so uh, I basically have no money so we're gonna have to go and do another another mission xenobology will be done in a day okay it'll be done now then you're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive yes Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? 
Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. Absolutely. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Because her name is actually Rosetta Stone, you see. Okay, so we can now capture a live alien. Well, we can't yet, but we're close to it. And uh, we can build an interrogation room, which we're going to need. Here we go, alien containment. And so, uh, they want us to build an arc thrower, which is going to be my very next uh, port of call, because I want to get these things done as quickly as possible. Uh, that takes way too long, so I'm going to go ahead and start the arc thrower right now. It takes 12 days, which is a long time. What it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Yes, I'm sure there is, but I don't know what it is. Uh, so, uh, these facilities, here we go. So these things are still excavating. So, we need to build one of these. We don't have enough money for it. We need a workshop, because we don't have one of those yet. Um, a thermogenerator is definitely uh, on the cards, but I don't have enough money for it yet. And a satellite uplink we need as well. But again, I don't have enough money for it. Uh, the satellite uplink I'm going to put in here, so we'll have two there, and I'll probably have another one there, and then I'll put a satellite nexus in here, but we can't get a nexus for quite some time yet. So, we have nothing else to do right now, so let's just go ahead and get to the next mission. So, scan for activity. Alright, the excavations are all complete, that's good. Right, okay, so we've got a UFO in Nigeria. Let's scramble the interceptors. Raven 1. I think this is a a low-level UFO so this should be okay for us to shoot down with these planes but these planes will very very quickly become completely useless for this sort of thing hopefully we can shoot this thing down right now I've got nothing I can actually inter uh, interact with sometimes you have uh, added things right down here oh I shot, down that one down <laughs> shot that one down really quickly actually that's good Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. You read my mind. Okay, so we're going to send the Sky Ranger and let's see who are we taking. Um I don't want two supports, so I'm gonna get rid of O'Brien and we'll take someone else. Who should we take? Um let's see, who's gonna get oh I wanna take the sniper, but um no, I'll take someone else. Um, who shall we take? Oh, we'll take me. Because, you know, me. Um, Wheeler, yeah, he's a custom name. Yes, yeah, so all these guys are custom names. Uh, these guys are staying because they are uh, because they have upgrades, and I kind of need them right now. Once we get um, like more armor and larger squad sizes, we'll start bringing in more people. But for the moment, I'm going to stick with the guys who have upgrades. So, sorry. Right, begin assault, but there's going to be plenty of time for the other people to, to shine, so... Great. Uh, some surviving crew. Oh, right, yeah, of course, it's a UFO. Okay, so basically, have to get in, kill all the crew, or incapacitate the crew. I can't do that yet, though, because I don't have access to the arc thrower. And uh, try to minimise damage to the ship so that we can get the most out of it as, uh, that we can. So, in we go. This is Big Sky. Right, so where are we? 
Alright, so where is it? It's somewhere out here. Uh, I really don't know where it is, because it's somewhere out here in the mist, and... Oh, what's that? Something there. There's a tree. There's more trees. This map is huge. Ah, right. That looks like a rock. No. <laughs> I think it's probably somewhere around here. But I'm just going to have to move out and find it. Wow, that's a really big map. Okay, so, um, it could even, no, it can't be that way. We're right in the corner here, so that's good. Right, okay. So, assault. I'm going to have these people just dash forward right now. Um, actually, no, we won't. Well, we will, but not, like, all the way. Ah, we've got a, a log over there that's taking damage. So, actually, it's probably over this way or maybe, like, diagonally this way. I still can't see very much. I've still got a feeling it's over here, but I can't know for sure until I get somewhere near it. Okay, um, I don't want Wheeler up the front, I want my Heavy up there. In fact, I'll have the Heavy there. Right. Wheeler, you're the Medic, you can go... Uh, you can go here. And me, personally, your glorious squad leader. We'll go here. Okay. Right, so there they are. So they are over there somewhere. It's kind of annoying if you, if you spot them, they get an extra move set. Where are they? Oh, you spotted them again. How can you spot them twice? <laughs> but whatever, at least now we know where they are. So, the assault... Um, is there anywhere I can put her into full cover? Doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, there's full cover there, but then she'll be in a really bad position for crossfire. I could make her dash up there, but then... Yeah, there's the UFO right there. Um, I don't want to dash up there right now. Um, she's not really in a good position right now. I'm going to move her over here. And she's going to stay there. I'm going to have the heavy move over here. And he can take a shot from here. 27%. This is low chance. But he might do it. Nah, no chance. Alright. Next. Uh, let's move... Right, the medic needs to move up. So I'll move him up here. And he'll probably be able to see them. But he won't be able to do anything about it. And I am going to move here. So they're going to have a turn now. Uh, after I put this chick onto Overwatch. She's not going to be all that useful in this situation, so... But she does have run and gun. Hello, someone's been mind controlled. Okay, that guy's been mind controlled. I don't know where the guy who's controlling him is, though. It would be really nice to know where he is. If she hits, it would be a miracle. <laughs> she missed. Clearly missed. And he's going to shoot at the heavy. And he missed. That's excellent. Okay, so... I really want to know where this other one is. I mean, failing all else, I can go back here. And shoot this guy in the back. Yeah, I have no idea where that other guy is. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to flank this guy and shoot him in the head. See, shotguns up close. Very good. So, um, no one's in Overwatch as far as I know. This one back here might be, but I can't see it right now. So I'm just going to have to assume that he is and go here. And hopefully he'll be far enough away that he doesn't get hit. Yeah, he missed. That's good. Good, good, good. So, he's got two options. And I can now move as well. I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go here. That gives me full protection from one side. And then, let's see. 58% on this one, so let's take a shot at him. Awful shooting. Now then, uh, I'm not going to use the heavy yet. Uh, let's see. 50%. I'm going to go for that one back there. No, nah, that's bad. It was only an 8% difference, so really it would have gone either way. 47% on this one guy. Oh, nice. 
do not make heavy angry. <laughs> heavy smash. Starting to lose ground. Right, so he's going to shoot at the medic, and he missed. That's good. I think he's a medic anyway. Pretty sure he is. And there's the guy who was mind controlling. So uh, I think he might be on um, on Overwatch, but I can run and gun this chick. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to run and gun her to right here. Oh, he's not on Overwatch, and he hasn't spotted anyone else. That's excellent. So she can now take this guy out. Perfect. This is why I love assaults, because they can just run and gun and beat the shit out of everything. And this guy is already fired, so I can move forward without too much trouble. So I'm going to move him forward, and um, I want to get me a kill, because I want to get leveled up. So I'm going to move him, and then we can, I'm going to take a shot. 45%, we'll see if we can do it. Oh, nice. I was not expecting that to work. <laughs> but it did, so I'm happy. Right, uh, let's move the heavy quite far forward. Let's charge him up to here. And he's in full cover from one direction anyway. And he's got an overwatch uh, an overwatch view. Um, I don't want to move too much further forward, but I'll, I'll move this guy into full cover here. Okay, so it's going to be another one in here somewhere. We might even have um, an outsider inside there. don't know for sure, but we might. Alright then. Uh, there's no cover up there whatsoever. I'll put you into cover here. She can't see anyone yet. Uh, let's move her down here then. See anyone? No? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to rush him into full cover here. Let's see if we've got any... Nope, still no enemies yet. Let's put... Um, I want to put the heavy here. Because then if we open up this door and there's something in there, he can just blast it. And I am going to go... Can I? How far forward can I get? And still be in cover. Um, let's go here. Let's try and give the assault a little bit of support. Because the heavy can support this guy on the left. Right, uh, put you into Overwatch and see what's going to happen now. Nothing. Okay. So it's probably just like one guy left inside. Uh, girl, I'm going to have these guys come right up here. Stand an impact like that at such a velocity. The materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Yeah, I thought that too. So, um, putting that guy on Overwatch and I'm going to move the heavy I'm going to dash the heavy down here, so he's got a full range of view through the door. And where am I going to go? Um, I'm going to go on this side to to try and flank if I have to. There we go. Right. Can we hear any enemies yet? Yep, he's right at the back there apparently. Well, we might see him when we open the door. So, girl, open the door. Our readings can't be right. That's a being of almost pure energy. Right, that is an outsider. So, how many moves has she got? She's still got both of her moves. And he is uh, basically screwed, because she's going to go right behind him and shoot him in the back of the head. That's all she wrote. Okay. So we killed five, and we had no operatives. I don't think we even had anyone injured. That was really good. Let's see if we got any uh, any promotions. I think at least one of them may have gotten a promotion. Wow, you're flying incredibly slowly. Right. Oh, wow. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Okay, so I'm an assault. That's great. And we have two corporals now, which is really good. We've got an alien nav computer, four sectoid corpses, 11 Illyrium, 51 alien alloys, 10 weapon fragments, a UFO flight computer, which is very useful. Uh, we need one of those, in fact. And one damaged one and a damaged UFO power source. Both of these we can sell. Because they're damaged, we don't need to hold on to them. Well, if I had an arc thrower right then, I could easily have captured two, maybe three of them. Right, UFO flight computer. That is damaged, therefore I can sell it for no, uh, for, uh, with no worries whatsoever. The rest of them I'm going to hold on to for now. I'll probably end up selling a whole bunch of alien alloys at some point. Um, also, other countries will occasionally ask you for stuff. Um, and unless you need it, then uh, it's probably worth doing. I'm going to sell these for 50, because I don't need them. And that's that. 
Now then, um, I'm still holding on to a satellite as well. I only have 60... I don't think there's anything else I can build. No, I can't build anything else just yet. And how long's the research? Seven days until the arc thrower is done. I can upgrade guys though. I'm going to upgrade myself first because it's me. Alright, so I've got running gun and a shotgun. Very nice. For those of you shocked, I've put my real name on there. And, well, it's on my email address and it's on my channel page. So, anyway. So, now we've got a choice. We've got a... Uh, a corporal assault. We can either have tactical sense, which is plus five defense per enemy line of sight, so a plus twenty maximum, or we have a ten percent critical chance for enemy in line of sight, a maximum of thirty. Now I'm going to go with tactical sense because having better defense is always a good thing, especially when you're an assault and you're going to be right at the very front taking you know the most shots. So we're going to go for that. Any kind of uh, defense bonus we can get is absolutely critical. And the heavy... Right. Oh, well, this one's a no-brainer. You, you can either have Bullet Storm, which uh, firing the primary weapon as the first action no longer ends the turn. Or you can have Hollow Targeting, which... Uh, uh, plus 10 to, en to allies surprise attacks? I don't even know what that means. But um, yeah, Bullet Storm basically allows the heavy to shoot twice per turn. So that's just a no-brainer. And that is amazing when they're on Overwatch, by the way. So, um, everyone is back and not injured anymore, which is good. I'd like to have a sniper who isn't a female, or at least who has a name. Um, but that's fine. We have two supports, two assaults, a sniper and a heavy. Um, I'm fine with that. I'd rather have more um, snipers, but I am actually fine with that right now. Uh, what do I need for squad size? I need a sergeant. I think that's the next level after corporal. Uh, I'll just check, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, sergeant's the next level. So when one of these, um, one of these two corporals up here levels up, uh, we'll be able to get another another squad member, and that'll be really good. So let's continue onwards for now. We're still scanning, still scanning. Raven one is repaired. The arc thrower is done. That's excellent. I'm very happy about that. Non-lethal sidearms, yep. Okay, so we can't do this yet because we need two alien nav computers for that. Uh, we can do the sector autopsy, which is just a no-brainer. We're going for that one immediately. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Yes, it does. So, uh, we can now buy arc throwers, and I want um, at least two of these. I want to give both of my uh, assaults those. So, uh, I'm going to have one. So load out, change the frag grenade for an arc thrower. One of those things back here with the arc thrower, Commander. We're going to need a containment facility to house it in first. You're a liar. I don't. Right. And army girl's going to get one as well. Uh, not not customize. I want load out. And arc thrower. There we go. Now he lies. I don't need a a place to put it first. So uh, how much did it actually cost to make one? 85 and I don't have enough money for that. Let's see if I can make that money by selling stuff. Grey market. Uh, so, if I sold 40 alloys, I would have enough. Uh, let's sell one Illyrium. I'm aware of that. I'm sure Dr. Volland would be disappointed if we put financial gains ahead of our own research and development. I'm sure she would, but she can suck my balls. Uh, right, and if I sell three sectoid corpses, no, four sectoid corpses, that should be enough. So let's do that. And that should give me... Oh yeah, I already had uh, more money as well. So let's build... Um, I'm going to put it all the way over here. 85 we need for that, so I've got enough for that. It'll take seven days to build it. So we'll build that all the way over there, right out of the way. Uh, we also have the steam now uh, tunnelled out. So that'll be fine. Right, mission control. Find me another mission. Commander, we're receiving a transmission oh, from the council. Looks like we've got a special mission. 
uncovered an alien plot to disrupt the, major, the uh, transport networks within a major French municipality. Well, they're French, who cares? Um, but it will reduce panic in Europe, which I think we want. So, And I also want to get that money too, so I'm happy with that. So, yeah, I want the support, the heavy, and the two assaults right now. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I just realised I haven't changed my colour. There we go. So, I am a red shirt. Although, you know, I am your glorious leader, so I probably shouldn't be red shirt, but never mind. I should be, what is it, yellow? I think command is yellow now. Anyway. Although, of course, it was red in the original series, but never mind. Let's assault. Oh, it's a bomb. Fuck. Okay, so bombs are annoying uh, because there are like different power nodes you have to turn off in order to give yourself more time. It also means you're rushing the entire mission, which is quite annoying. I don't suppose that's the bomb, is it? Sensor readings indicate that the device is some sort of priming mechanism. The aliens are transferring power from it directly to the bomb itself. Disabling this power node should give you more time to find and disarm the explosive. Yes, I'm aware of that. Give me back my fucking camera, please. All right, so some somewhere over there apparently is where the bomb is, but there are things over here. So, um, I think I want to move the heavy towards the bomb. Um, let's move him here first. He's not going to be able to fire on the first turn, so if I move him here, uh, let's move him here. Okay, so he's uncovered quite a lot of the map right there. Um, I can't dash her all the way over there, but I can move her over here. Uh, the question is if I want to run and gun, and I'm not going to. Hopefully I won't uncover any aliens doing this. Good. Right. Wheeler. Uh, you're the medic. You're going to go here. Oh, it's a thin man. Okay. I really don't like thin men. Okay. Now, even though he's out of movement... Would you shut up, please? Even though uh, he's used all of his movement, he can still disable things that he's next to. So he's going to turn that off. And let's see. So I've got two going down there, so that's enough for that way. Um, I'm going to move myself. Where's the thin man? He's there. Alright, I'm going to move myself here, and I might be able to get a shot at the thin man next turn. But then he's got a shotgun, so it won't be all that helpful. There's only one thin man. That's kind of interesting. But, okay, he's flanking the heavy. He only took two damage, that's good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so, um, I want to move, she needs to move up. I'm going to move her over here. She's not dashing, so if there's any more guys over there, she will be able to shoot them. She's also going to turn that off. I want her to go all the way out here and turn off these things as well. Yes, I'm aware of that. Right, so, if I go right here, I should be able to zap this guy. 70% chance, let's try it. And we've got him, good. That also means we now have access to his weapon, because he's been incapacitated rather than killed. So, we now have a, uh, a light plasma gun, which someone will get. I don't know who. It'll probably be the medic. Let's disarm this. And let's move the heavy up here, because I don't think there's any more... Um, I don't think there's any more power nodes down here. No. So, is that the back of the map? Yeah, it is. So, the bomb must be somewhere, like, right there. Let's see. Uh, let's move her to here. This might be a really bad idea. No, nope, she's fine. Good. Right, Wheeler, uh, I want you... You can dash here. Unfortunately, that's going to end the turn, but... Oh, okay, we've got a sectoid there. As long as he doesn't go on to Overwatch... Oh, don't be able to shoot from there. Shit. Don't die, please. 
Ow. Okay, she's going to need backup, but I think... Well, she can get in behind him, and he's not on Overwatch, and she can stun him, hopefully. Please work. Good. Right. Okay, and she is really badly hurt. Uh, you need to get over there um, and help her. In fact, he's going to go here. I should have turned that thing off first, but whatever. Um, yeah, and she's going to run in and get help next time. But, uh, okay, I'm going to go and turn this off. And Excellent. I think I will stay on Overwatch, perhaps. I'm going to move the heavy to here. He's taking a little bit of damage as well, so I need to be careful of him. But we have six turns right now to get to the bomb and disable it, so... Yeah, so we're okay here. I'm going to put uh, myself and the Heavy onto Overwatch. Okay, I don't see any aliens yet. That's good. Okay, right. Now then, I want you, girl, get over here so that the medic can patch you up. Uh, okay, he doesn't have a... Why does he not have a medkit? I swear I gave him a medkit. Alright, fine. Uh, well, she's going to have to just keep cover then for the rest of the uh, rest of the mission. You're going to go over here, medic, and turn that... Oh, there's the bomb. Oh, good. You're not going to reset my camera? Good. Right, you turn that off. I don't want to rush it, so we're going to do this slowly, slowly catchy monkey. Move up here, heavy, and turn that one off. So you've got plenty of time. Let's move here. Are there any more power uh, generators around here? Please stop taking control of my camera. Right. Are there any more power nodes up here? No. So I think there's just that and that one right there left, which is fine. Um, she she needs to get somewhere that's really defensible. Um, that one's not bad. Yeah, we'll go there. She can just hunker down down there. Uh, Wheeler. E yeah, you're just going to hold position there and go into Overwatch. And I... Um, uh, I'm going to go here. I have to dash there, but... Okay, so there's a, another dude right there. That's fine. He can go and hide there. He's not a threat to me right now. He might become a threat to me in a minute, but right now he's not. Oh, he's shooting at the heavy. Miss, please. Thank you. Oh, that's fine. He can miss. It's not a problem. Right then. Uh, how far can we dash? We can dash to here, but I don't think if I dash I can use the... Uh, let's, let's run and gun. And let's dash up to here, which is within... Oh, shit. Which is within stunning range. Uh, yeah, this is bad. I don't think I can use the stunner if I do this. No, I can't. But, I can definitely kill this guy. So, one down. And now I need, uh, help. <laughs> Creeper, you need to get over here and gun this guy down. Uh, let's move him here. So you can... Disarm that. 54%. No, I'm not risking it. I'm just going to blow this guy up. Fuck him. Nice one, Creeper. You saved my life. Now then, uh, is there anywhere more defensible for this girl? Um, no, not really. I don't like where she is, though. Um, that's not full cover in there, either. Actually, this is probably better because it's got full cover on two sides. So I'm going to leave her there. Wheeler, the useless medic. You're going to go here. Okay. Wheeler, turn that off. There's another one over here you can turn off as well. Well done. Node is deactivated. Yes, I'm aware they're deactivated. I did it. Right. And then I am going to get in behind here and 
from what I remember, they tend to like to have more aliens show up right after you've disarmed this bomb. So I'm going to have all these guys uh, form up on each other, and I'm really worried about this chick right here, but she's going to hunker down, which provides uh, extra uh, cover protection. And this guy, um, I want him to be in a position where he'll be able to shoot people. Let's, let's move him here. He'll be in a half decent position right here, and we're going to reload before we do anything. Okay. Right, uh, you don't need to reload, so that's good. Let's turn off the the bomb. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. Are there any remaining hostiles? The wave of closing on your location. Eyes up. Objectives updated. Okay, I'm gonna stick everyone onto Overwatch. Because I've got a feeling a whole bunch of uh, thin men are gonna kind of come dropping down, and hopefully they're not gonna drop down and immediately shoot girl. Right, so there's one there. He's on Overwatch. One there. Oh, looks like Creeper's going to get a shot in. But he missed. And I'm taking one, and I kill the guy. That's good. We've already captured a thin man, so that's fine. Okay, so he can have a shot, and he can't. Let's have another shot. Right. Very nice. Right in the face. And that is not all of them. Yes, it is. Nice. So we took out the bomb and we killed six aliens. We lost no one. That's fantastic. I'm very happy with that. And we probably got some... Uh, some. Oh, yeah. Everyone got promoted. That's great. Okay. So, Army Girl. Um, you actually don't have a nickname in your thing. Um, so... I'm going to go with your YouTube name for that one, and Soviet Creeper. Uh, I'm pretty sure you had something written down. I'll check that in a minute. Commander, unfortunately, without an available containment facility, the subject you brought back to headquarters expired before we could gain anything of value. You should speak to Dr. Shen right away. Well, we still got their weapons, so I wouldn't say that uh, we had nothing of value. And their weapons are much better than ours, therefore, I'd say win-win overall. Uh, so, we can do a Thin Man autopsy, we should also be able to do a Sectoid autopsy, but we've, oh, we've already done that, actually, so that's fine. Um, so we've got three Sectoid corpses, three Thin Man corpses, six weapon fragments, a, a light plasma rifle and a plasma pistol. A plasma pistol, I think, is really only useful... Okay, so we reduced panic. Let's have a look at the situation room. Yeah, so it reduced panic in uh, in uh, Europe, which is really good. It means that um, if we're going to need a need to put a satellite up, it will probably be in Argentina or wherever the next abduction comes from. So that's a good thing, and we also now have money, so I could build stuff. Um, a satellite uplink is definitely in my plans. Um, it's actually not a lot of point in building workshops, to be honest. No, I'm not going to bother. Um, I might need a power generator. How much power does this need? Five power. Uh, yeah, I've still got five power. Um, I can put a thermo generator right here, though. Uh, there we go, thermo generator there, which gives plus twenty power. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's gonna cost me two hundred, but I'm gonna do it because it'll be worth it. Uh, I'll remove it later on, but for now I'm going to stick with that. Okay, so to the barracks. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do these guys' uh, nicknames and things. I need to tab out and stuff, so I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, that's the nicknames done. So, um, neither of you actually gave a, a nickname, and uh, it's kind of the way I wanted it, actually. So, we have uh, Army Man for Army Girl, because Army Man 8889... Uh, requested that uh, that name and Soviet Creeper your username is uh, Ulak something uh, Ulak 5150 so you're Ulak I'm leaving the numbers off because frankly who wants a, a number in their name um, and I haven't done the actual upgrades yet so abilities we can either have lightning reflexes which is amazing or we can have close and personal which is good but lightning reflexes uh, 
means the first Overwatch shot against uh, against this guy or girl will always miss, which is amazingly useful. It means you can charge in at people and not worry if they're on Overwatch at all. So that's just fantastic, and I'm having it immediately. Uh, right then, Heavy. What have you got? So you can either have a Shredder rocket, uh, which allows you to fire another rocket, and uh, they take plus 33% damage from all sources for the next four turns, uh, but does less damage overall, or Suppression, which... Uh, puts a minus 30 aim penalty on things which is good but um, I would rather have a shredder rocket just for the fact that it allows me to fire a second rocket per mission and I think that's much more valuable than be able to suppress people um, so yeah I'm going for that and let's see Wheeler you are the medic so you can either have sprinter which allows you to move three additional tiles which is very very useful or covering fire which allows reaction shots to trigger on enemy attacks not just movement which also is very very useful um, this is a tough one actually because tough because uh, uh, covering fire on enemy attacks is really good because it means if you're on overwatch and you can't actually see them but then they shoot at someone they can shoot back which is very very useful um, but also sprinter as they're the medic they need to get to the people who are wounded and uh, and heal them quickly but I think um, I think I'm going to go for covering fire because most of the time my um, my medics are sort of within range to, to heal people before they would die anyway so I think I'm just going to go for that and have them be a little bit more uh, a little more bit a little bit more uh, fighty than anything else right and me what ability do I get Oh, I get uh, I get tactical sense, so better defense basically. Right, um, Wheeler, your support, and you don't have a med kit for some reason. I don't know why, but for some reason you don't. So now you do, and that would have been helpful in the last game. So I think this one would be out for like six days, maybe instead of twelve days. But oh well, whatever. Um, so that's a couple of missions. I think I'm going to end it there because I'm not sure how long I've been going for, but uh, I think a couple of missions in a video is good. So I hope you've enjoyed and come back next time for uh, the third episode. Like that. Um, I will also try not to get people blown up by uh, by misthrown hand grenades or exploding cars, although I can't promise anything. So um, I'll, I'll give it my best. Right, so we have got a mission to do. The alien abductions. Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Are we going to Tokyo? I think. Uh, scientist. Yeah, I think we're going to Tokyo. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So our squad is Wheeler, Creeper, Girl, and O'Brien. Okay. Uh, yeah, that looks all right to me. And I've also changed uh, this guy's um, armor because he's a heavy, and I really hate that heavy armor. So he's got the. Um, the sort of overlay thing and that's what he's going to have and I'm half tempted to give someone a med kit just in case um, I think I'm going to give O'Brien a med kit uh, loadout instead of a frag grenade you can have a med kit because it is helpful to have a med kit around even if you don't have a medic because when you're a low level medic you can just you're still as effective with a med kit as any other person is so I may as well have uh, O'Brien have a med kit right here the fuck is that? Oh, right. Okay, never mind. Uh, right. Okay. So let's launch the mission. Away we go. All the way over to Japan, and unfortunately, it means the other two places are going to get a bit upset by this. But uh, but we just have to deal with that. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. Okay. So site's clear of hostiles. So just kill everything. Yeah, I'm going to ignore that guy for a while because he just says the same thing over and over. Okay, oh, it's raining. Okay. This is an interesting map. Is that a fire? There's a giant fire down there. That's um, a little bit disconcerting, but alright. Basically, it's just a straight down the middle, though. Okay, so I'm going to deploy the heavy right here. He's in full cover, which is great. I uh, can't see anyone now though, so that's fine. Uh, let's see. Girl, you've got a shotgun, so really you want to be a lot further forward. I'm going to have her dash up here. Even though she can't shoot after that, she's going to, still going to be up there. Um, Wheeler and O'Brien are both uh, unexperienced, so 
I want to keep them fairly close. Um, I'm going to have her go in with the heavy right there. And I'm going to have uh, Wheeler. He's going to sprint up here and stay on the flank behind this SUV. And everyone else can now go into Overwatch. And we'll see what the aliens are going to do. See if they present themselves or not. No, I didn't think they would. Right, okay, so... Girl, I want you moving up here. Alright, still can't see anything. Uh, this guy's going to dash up on this side. Still can't see anything. Okay, uh, I'm going to have the heavy. The heavy's going to move here. And we'll have O'Brien move up into the middle. Okay, and everyone back onto Overwatch, or everyone that can. Okay, can we see any aliens yet? You can hear them. And they are pretty much where I thought they were going to be. Because I think they're just here. Because there's that thing right there, there's a pod right there. So I'd be very surprised if they aren't very nearby there. I'm going to move the heavy up to here. And he's got a good overwatch position. Uh, let's put him on overwatch immediately. And then we'll have... I'm going to have O'Brien move up to here and go on Overwatch. Hey there, and welcome back to XCOM. So, um, I have filled out some of your uh, some of your requests. If you can see your name on there, then well done. Uh, I did disqualify one because it's a cheat code. Uh, that would be Sid Meier. Uh, I won't be having any uh, quote-unquote heroes of XCOM. Uh, and there are still a few who are unnamed, like uh, the sniper chick here, she doesn't have a name. Well, she does, but she doesn't. And um, there's another chick here. Uh, there was one person who asked for uh, Army Girl, so uh, Army Girl is up here as the assault. That's the only only female uh, operative we have so far who has a customised name. But uh, all the rest of these guys I've filled out. You might not have the country you like, but I don't have the uh, the option to... Just pick up a whole bunch of uh, of different country guys right now. Um, maybe later on I'll be able to do that. And I've also run out of names to do uh, without going into uh, who the women are. So, uh, or rather putting women as men's names, because it seems that most of the names I've been given are men's names. So I'll just wait until I've gotten more uh, more soldiers for that. And I will get more soldiers, so don't worry about that. So, um, and once I do, even if they don't, don't, don't uh, even if the soldiers don't die, I'll mix them up a bit to get them all a little bit of experience. So everyone will get to see their character in action and uh, potentially die. So don't worry about. Um, now I'm going to have girl. Um, can't really move her any further up without putting her into danger. I'm going to put this guy up here. There we go. All right. So now we can see them. If any of them move forward, the heavy will get a shot. No. Okay, so they're not coming far enough forward for heavy to get a shot. And she's got a shotgun, so that's going to be not very useful, to be honest, in this kind of situation. Um, let's see. I think I want to have her come over this side. Yeah, I'll have her come and flank, because she's a, a close-range uh, specialist. So... If he shoots from there, he's going to be got to be super accurate. No, he's going to mind control that one. Okay, that's fine. When they move forward, the heavy should get a shot. There we go. He'd probably miss, but yeah, completely missed. Now I could easily take out all three of those right now with a heavy. Could easily just destroy the whole thing with a with a rocket and if he goes into overwatch as well oh if you hit from there I'll be annoyed yeah that was lame <laughs> the fuck can you